What up, guys? I said, what up, guys? So, um, want to be able to go over my book for sure. Um, uh, if I can find it, <laughs> I apologize. So, anyways, um, yes, it is Friday night. Hope you guys had a great Friday. Happy early weekend, because tomorrow is Saturday. Uh, so going to go ahead and hop into my book here. So I want to be able to, you know what? Yeah, let's go to my Naked Forex here. This is all old stuff. I just don't want to, I don't want to go from chapter to chapter. You know, it's just a lot of stuff to take in. Uh, this is all based on the old book anyways, but I will, uh, I will touch base on each chapter, uh, in, in, in other separate videos. <laughs> I apologize. Let's see if I can find my, yeah. So back in summer of 2018 was when I started Naked Forex. Number one reason is because I was using like six to eight indicators. There was one time that I was using up to 12 indicators, you know, just trying to find confirmation bias, right? Confirmation bias on the number one thing is like, oh, well, you know, maybe the relative strength index, right? 30 and 70 on the uh, RSI. Or maybe the MACD is overbought. Or maybe the stochastic oscillator is overbought or oversold, right? Oversold and overbought conditions based on the indicators that you use. Now, also another big thing, especially for the main window that I really love using was the Bollinger Bands time with the, the cross, uh, the moving averages that were crossing. I was using the 10 day and the 20 day crossing in on each other. The 714 is a little bit, uh, easier to go with and also tying into scalping with the 714 because it is such a shorter uh day uh the days of how they do it in time frames so i'm not gonna go with math in that like i said the 714 is pretty good if you were to tie with the five minute chart i don't do that anymore like i said that's something that i can touch base on, a, on another different video uh this will be uh just kind of like a part one um, into the naked forex trading and uh i've done a lot of naked forex tutorials and naked forex trading uh style videos on my channel uh i haven't done anything recently so this is kind of like a refresher for me uh going back into my book here i do plan on revising this book throughout the end of the year i plan on trying to get this thing up to 200 pages if not more by the end of this year and, and the whole main purpose of this book is to not just give away for free but to also give you guys the most insight um my knowledge my wisdom right and my full experience from how i've shifted from trading indicators into going strictly just price right pretty much price action right pretty much just um you know, just looking at the main window, looking at candlesticks going up and down, looking at, you know, just looking at just the charts of, you know, red candles are, are, are the bear candles and then the green candles are the bull candles. And that's all I'll be looking at. And then I'm just looking at the price, right? Every candle is based on the price, right? Every candle is whether it's building resistance or support. And based on that, are they, is it going uptrend or downtrend? If there is no trend, you know. Then what are we looking for, right? Consolidation, the structures of the zones, you know? So that's a whole different topic to talk about. And I, I just want to hop into just a quick part one here um, into this chapter here. And I'm going to be emphasizing a lot on this because this is what I've been trading on. This is what I'm going to be trading on. I am not going to be shifting back into indicators at all. I'm Ever since I've done naked forex trading, I have not shifted anything back into using indicators whatsoever and that is the biggest shift for me and that is my biggest takeaway on the momentum that i'm building for trading forex so it is a you know like i said most like 90 percent of the book talks a lot about indicators right? especially in the beginning 
And so uh, if you guys are still using indicators, make sure number one, number one, always, um, always identify your primary indicator. What is your primary source of confirmation bias on the indicator that you're using? Could be the RSI, could be the MACD, could be the parabolic star, uh, it could be moving averages, it could be, you know, Bollinger Bands, it could be stochastic oscillator, it could be, there's there's so much, right? There's a lot, you know, and there's a lot, there's a lot of indicators out there. And uh, I'm just naming a few that I was used to using. You know, that's I named six indicators already. And so that just tells you like the amount of indicators that I try to find confirmation. And I want to top, I want to, uh, let's see here. I think I talked about this. I'm going to just highlight this, right? I'm just going to um, talk about this paragraph here. Now, I'm going to read out loud. One of the main reasons why I am going naked forex trading is that the top professional day traders in the industry are not using any indicators at all in day trading, which is very, very true. Very, most of the professionals that I've seen or I even followed don't even talk about any of the indicators that they use. They strictly based on price action trading. And if they did have a software, you know, a software where they had indicators, it's usually their proprietary software, you know, with that company that they're working for, or they actually created their own proprietary software and, and using their own, you know, uh, niche of indicator for themselves. And so personally, you know, from the book of the Naked Forks book I've read, you know, some highly, you know, uh, pretty much, yeah, some highly professional traders that come in and they talk nothing but price action. I didn't quite understand in the beginning. And, but the first chapter of the book, which I'll, I don't have it popped up, but I should have it popped up. Next time I'll have it popped up. The first chapter of the book talks a lot about why indicators lag the confirmation bias and why, you know, and why indicators aren't really a given confirmation, especially where you were, where you were to want to buy and sell. There are times where, um, where there, where the confirmations of indicators are actually really true and accurate. Right. And that's what I want to say, you know, um, are, is everything you know accurate to the way indicators are built for? No, not all the time, right? It's you know it's math implied, you know with science, and then it ties into the software integration. And uh, I've also looked into creating my own proprietary you know software indicators, and that's on the back burner right now. I don't, I'm not really focusing on that. I have tested quite a few, uh, quite a few. I've also tested some of mine. I don't plan on doing anything further until, you know, until everything, uh, I want to say, until the personal side of my life is really taken care of before I even decide to even run a full business platform on based on software, software integration and software applications here. So now back to naked forks training. I'm sorry, I got a little caught up here on, on different topics. There's a lot of different topics that I want to discuss with. There's a lot of different subjects that are involved in naked forex trading that will be dissect in a different manner. Uh, you know, there's so much different portions and different uh, viewpoints with naked forex itself, not just my way of how I look at it, but diff different approaches from how people anticipate the markets using naked forex trading. So now this is just my take on it. This is the way I interpret it. And this is something that if you're new and you don't know what Naked Forks trading, I highly recommend reading the book, uh, the Naked Forks book. Uh, that way you can understand. I highly recommend understanding the first two chapters of the book so that you can go forward and, and utilizing the Naked Forks trading. You know, just a topic, you know, so some of the videos that I posted can be a little bit too much to understand. And then you're trying to apply it to the actual charts when you're actually trading, whether it be demo or live. So uh, I just want to hop into just the first page here. Uh, that I don't think I can finish the paragraph. So <laughs> I apologize. Um, yeah, I even talked about it right here. 
Going into naked forest can be overwhelming, but it's worth it, right? And then I talked about this right here. It eliminates the process of looking at all these so-called indicators that help you or assist you in reading the confirmation of having the overbought and oversold conditions. Every indicator that I've used, always I always look for whether it was overbought or oversold conditions based on that time frame on that indicator that was, you know, what is my confirmation bias, right? Most of the oversold and oversold and overbought conditions are the bottom indicators, MACD, RSI, oscillator. Uh, that was the uh, stochastic. Uh, I can't remember the other ones I used, but the bottom indicators have a high fluctuation of value of basing on price of saying, oh, it's hit this high on this time frame, whether it be the four hour, the one hour, 30 minute, 15 minute, and then or even down to the one minute chart. And then you're like, oh, well, it's overbought at this time frame. That's what the uh, relative strength index is saying, which is the RSI. Maybe I should uh, sell it. Or same thing when it's uh, oversold, maybe I should buy it because on this time frame, I should, I should buy it. You know, but if you go, if you hop from, let's just say you hop from the five minute to the four hour chart, that's two totally different confirmation bias. Now, if you, if it was oversold on the five minute chart, but it was overbought on the four hour, now you don't know what you're looking at. Now you're all over the place. Now you're second guessing yourself. And this is where it comes into play where the main window is the most crucial window to pay attention to. Now, I don't have any charts. Uh, and on here, it's just my book right now. I'm just sharing my book. When you look at the main window, reflect those candlestick movements or the barks or the bars or um, I don't know if you like, I don't know if you guys use tick, tick marks or whatever, but the candlesticks, they're moving up and down, right? Every time they move up and down, there's a price line, right? There's a price line across and whether it could be the price going up or down. All right. So understand that price is moving no matter what. If the candlesticks are moving, what's what's moving along with that? It's the price. If the price of that value of that currency is going up, look for the confirmation of where it's going to create resistance instead of support. Same thing when it's going down, right? When it when the price is going down so much, look where it's going to try and create support. And look at previous support and resistance. So that's the basic uh, viewpoints that I can make based on the basic approach of technical analysis. And I won't go any more further in, in detail of this video because I don't want, uh, this is page what, 23 of my book, of the re uh, revision one. So on page 23, I, I don't know how much longer I talked on this naked forest. Why price action is very important. It's page 25, 26. So it was only four pages of what I've talked about. So I will, I am going to be, yeah, this is the book that I'm talking about. Uh, the authors of the book is Alex Neckerton and Walter Peters uh, from Wiley Trading. Why Wiley, Wiley Trading. So that's the company that they run. I don't, uh, so it could be a firm. I haven't really looked into it. I just, like I said, I read the book uh, itself multiple times, especially the first three, four chapters, which is really crucial for me. And then the book is really, really in depth, um, for naked Forex. And then I tied this book with the Council Bible, which is by a Japanese author. Can't remember his name. I should probably have these books <laughs> so you guys can see it. Uh, I don't mind giving out the books. If you guys really want the Chaosic Bible and the Naked Forks book to tie with my book, that's fine. Um, there's plenty of, you know, those books are free PDF files. And so, uh, let's see. Uh, I plan, like I said, I plan on making this book, my personal book, more than 200 pages. It will be like a Bible by the time. I'm like retired at the age of 65 or whatever. So it's crazy, right? So um, I, I'm not saying like I'm retired now or anything. It's just that you build a lifestyle where you can 
have your time back. That's the biggest thing, right? And uh, that's the biggest thing, time freedom. I would rather have my time freedom than the financial freedom. That's the number one thing. You can't buy time back. That's the biggest thing right now. I don't care how old you are, how young you are. You cannot buy your time back. All right? We're always trading time for something. But it's really cool when you can control your time because money's not an issue. That is a big thing where you have to focus on, you know, that's a whole different subject on financial situation. So um, back to Naked Forks here. I want to be able to give you guys, you know, more insight on this, how I interpret it, how I use it, how I analyze it, how I approach it every single day when I trade, you know? And uh, I know a lot of people were asking if I was going to come back and do some live streaming on actual live trading. I will be doing that uh, as, you know, as I progress through. Uh, through the channel and through the, through my personal days, uh, not just trading, but my personal life, you know, what I'm going through. And so it's not, it's not done yet. So still a lot of stuff, legal stuff that's still involved, especially uh, for my kids. You know, that's a big thing. So anyways, I, I want to leave it at that. I don't want to go. I don't just don't want to talk this four pages because these four, these four pages might end up being like, eight to 10 hours of talking. And when I do talk, you know, we can go from one subject to the next subject to this time frame to that time frame, right? And and this is just basic level stuff of naked forex trading. You have to apply it, but when you apply it, you have to learn what you're applying. And then from there, you're reapplying it again. And then you're building what? The experience of, of, of approaching this technique or this strategy that you're utilizing. And then eventually, it becomes your niche of trading. It becomes your way, your style of trading, right? So, uh, other than that, yeah. Uh, this is page twenty three, all the way to page twenty seven, four pages. And like I said, you know, there's like I said, I plan on make I'm revising this book, you know, uh, as much as I can throughout the end of the year. And then the goal is to hit two hundred pages or more by the end of this year of December 31st, um, New Year's Eve. So that is my goal. And then I like I said it, it's just a a a free book, free ebook, free PDF file book for you guys. Like and whether you guys use this book or not, share it, share it with people. You know, I appreciate those that have followed me on this channel, have you know subscribed, followed me, become clients of mine also have gone further in their own trading and their success. And that's what I would want. You know, I, it's not about my success anymore. What if, what if someone, what if you come in brand new and then have to go through all these hoops and get a little bit more simplified version of trading, right? And nothing beats free education, but the number one thing I hate the most and that probably goes for a lot of mentors and, and mentors and teachers out there. Those are our mentors and teachers that no matter how much free education or free tuition there is out there, people take it for granted and then they act like they never learned anything from it. That is the number one thing I hate the most is that that's my biggest pet peeve, especially for those that want free knowledge or free wisdom. It's all out there, but yet they act like they never got, you know, like they never, they acted like they never got a free meal. You know, like they acted like it was like, it wasn't given to them, but they didn't imply anything and they didn't even apply, you know, any of the strategies or techniques that was given to them. It's not hard. But people make it hard on themselves. And guess what makes it harder for them? Is the decision of not making it even better for themselves. Right? And so we we know there's people out there that take things for free. And that's all they do is take, take, take. And yet they don't know how to give back. And they don't know how to reapply anything that they learn. You know? And so I just want to, you know, um, exaggerate that a lot because... I went through a lot of stuff. This book doesn't have to be free, right? I could charge whatever I want with this. It's my book. 
you know, I took the time to type this out, but there's more to my purpose and mission. And I want to be able to give back the value of what I learned in trading these five years. And there's going to be more, right? There's going to be more. And so I just, I just want to put it out there because a lot of people take free, free stuff in life, especially the knowledge and intuition and education. And yet they act like it, it like, they act like nothing was beneficial to them right and so other than that i like I said um i highly recommend taking the time to understand this approach if you are new to this and you want to shift over to naked forest trading take the time it took me about six months like i said summer of 2018 down to the end of december of 2018 is when i finally found something that I really liked about Naked Forex and then how I tied it with, you know, I tried to tie with indicator, but that, but you weren't supposed to. And then I finally dropped all the indicators and then, and then you can see like a light bulb switch at the end of the user. I can say, like you can see like a clearer picture of why they talk about Naked Forex. And so, all right. Hope you guys have a good Friday night. I'm pooped out because I've been running around all day. So, anyways, on that, uh, I do plan on talking more about this, uh, this chapter of the book, and then also revising the book at the same time, and then the um, the the new revision is going to be nothing but, uh. I mean, 50, 60 pages of Naked Forex based on my Naked Forex, basically on how I look, how I look at Naked Forex, how I approach it and what, what are the main reasons why I use Naked Forex today. And I still use it today. I'm not, I never went back to indicators. So that's a big thing right there for you guys. All right, Nat, it is always good to come back on YouTube and, uh, Time is short, guys. Got to make a difference somehow, regardless of what life has, what what I've gone through. I I just, you just got to make the best out of life, regardless of all the people that are not even supporting you. That's the easiest way I can say it. So you're always going to have haters out there. You're always going to have people that doubt you. And you're always going to have people that are close to you that are so fake. You just got to step away from them. From them. And it's okay to just be selfish and have your own time because you're not going to have that own time for yourself again. You know, you, if you wasted 24 hours today, you can't get it back tomorrow because tomorrow is a new day. So, um, <laughs> like I said, be positive, pray. God bless you guys. Amen to you guys. And uh, I will, I, I might come back um, either tomorrow or Sunday, more likely Sunday. Uh, I got a really busy day tomorrow, so we'll see how it all plays out. But like I said, if you guys want the book, let me know. Email me. I have a lot of people that already emailed me. They already got the book already. Uh, email me or tell them me. I can give you the book. And then once the revision is done by the end of this year, I will resend it back out one more time. All right. Peace out. Love you guys.